We covered a lot of changes in this Part 7 about dumbwaiters and material lifts, so let's review. Controllers located outside the hoistway and not in machine rooms, control rooms, machine spaces, or control spaces are required to be enclosed in a locked cabinet. Hoistway door interlocks are required at all landings for power and hand dumbwaiters, except that hoistway door combination mechanical locks and electric contacts are permitted to be used at landings where the bottom of the door opening is 600 millimeters or 24 inches or more above the floor. The permission for lock and contacts at floors with other than counter height loading has been removed. Hoistway door interlocks on fast or slow dumbwaiters now have different requirements. Capacity plates on dumbwaiter cars can now be of any durable material and construction that can be permanently fixed and can maintain its writing, like metal, hard plastic, or some other type. The phrase rated braking strength has been replaced with minimum ultimate tensile strength in the requirements for electric and hand-powered dumbwaiters without automatic transfer devices. Dumbwaiters that could be operated with hoistway doors closed but not locked within 75 millimeters or 3 inches above or below a landing must have closed contacts as a safety measure. Fire service buttons and an easy means of communication are not required for dumbwaiters and material lifts. Combination mechanical locks and contacts are no longer permitted for Type B material lifts. For safety reasons, Type B material lifts are limited to full interlocks only. To prevent operator entrapment on electric material lifts without automatic transfer devices, authorized personnel are granted permission to use a non-latching emergency stop switch at the landings for Type B material lifts and transfer devices in the car of electric material lifts must be visible or clearly marked. This way, people are less likely to mistake the lift as being a passenger or freight elevator. These are just a few of the new requirements found in Part 7. Wherever possible, the editors of the 2016 codebook made changes to prevent bodily harm to users. That's what the majority of the revisions, new codes, and deleted text amounts to. Safety. Make sure it's clear how users should properly operate and engage with a unit by adhering to all signage and warning requirements of the text. 